hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel welcome back welcome back welcome back we also gotta say welcome back to portia she flew back in i don't know if she was accompanied back by or with her boyfriend simon gabadia back to atlanta i'm not really sure but i know one thing portia do not <coughs> Like I said, I don't know if Dirty Simon came back or I like to call him Father Time. I don't know if Father Time came back with her or they took separate flights. Okay, back here to Atlanta. Okay, where well, Portia resides. Okay, where well, the money resides. Alrighty. <coughs> I don't know. But it doesn't seem like Portia is going to take any time of slowing down. She ain't slowing down for nobody. Okay, now you would have thought she had enough partying over there in uh, Lagos. Okay, because don't think, I don't even really think she went and saw Simon's uh, mother while she was there in Benin. Okay, because she was too much partying with Davidu. Okay, the music artist out there. I don't know if he's a rapper or he sings. To me, when I saw one of his videos, it seems like he was a rapper. Okay, but I'm like... <coughs> Portia got 14k love because everybody love how she act not there in them streets okay Portia is chasing the money and not letting the money chase her and she's spending it like it ain't nobody's business okay like it like she don't it, it has no it's a bottomless pit is what I'm saying she's pulling out money everywhere everywhere and I ain't got nothing wrong with that if that's what you do you do it baby but I'm just hoping somebody is looking out for PJ's college uh education to some degree because we need her to go to school be a businesswoman and do the darn thing okay <coughs> can i prove it that she don't slow down yes i can i can prove it and we're going to roll this footage because she even said so on her instagram that her bestie which is uh shamia moore morton hooked her up with some tickets to go to a concert just when she was coming off a 12-hour flight now you see what I'm saying? I'm like, did Shamia miss you that much, girl? Did Shamia miss you that much? I'm like, Shamia ain't got no more friends out there. She had to wait till you come back home from another continent, another country, so she go out partying. Or is it Shamia just, you know, gonna write a tell-all book one day and expose all your comings and goings? You let me know, Portia, because, you know, you got to keep your enemies more closer than you keep your friends. So, I don't know. Do you see uh, Shamia as an enemy, a foe, or a friend? Because if that was the case, wouldn't you have to try to show a little behind on over there to Africa or Nigeria? Or, I don't know where she got married to her distinguished-looking husband who has class about himself okay and he don't show every and anything for the real housewives of atlanta to capture no if shamia doing something she doing it from their home okay she doing it out in the club or out somewhere frolicking in atlanta but she ain't doing it all up in her house his her, her husband got that straight before anything got started with her working outside the home because he really wanted her as a home wife but you know sometimes you want your own you want your own identity and i can definitely concur with uh shamia trying to find herself and solidify herself in business opportunities in case things go left you know she still got her thing going i don't know why that energy hasn't rubbed off rubbed off on miss portia williams because she had it all too two lucrative jobs but she threw it to the wind because she thought five blood time had it going on had it going on going on okay man we see that now that may not be the case because it seems like he's leasing and written everything around here and if you have money like that you would want to own some assets in case you follow hard times okay you can liquidate some stuff but from what we're seeing he don't have too much to liquidate because he's definitely renting leasing maybe leasing to own who knows but yeah Porsche called her said I don't know what the hell they do I mean uh, when I was looking at the video because I was over there being nosy you know I got to be nosy here and there but I was over there being nosy and first thing I saw was God, dog, where is these people with masks? COVID is still out there. You know what I'm saying? Running rapping from my, what my brother said today. Um, it was 70 uh, staff members in the White House that caught it. And, it. and they really think that President Biden probably got it. They just hadn't told us anything about it. So, you know, it is what it is. If he was around somebody, he was a part of a big gathering. 
He wasn't wearing his mask or nothing. Yep, it's a possibility he could have it. And that's sad because, you know, he, he and you know, he's a senior. So, uh, that, you know, I know I had it. And I know I was doing my due diligence. I wasn't going nowhere. But where I had to go out in necessity places. But, uh, and I still, you know, contracted it. <laughs> and I could have got it from work, you know what I'm saying? But, I, you know, I did my due diligence. I, at least I thought I did my due diligence. I was washing my hand sanitizing and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, my daughter uh, would, you know, be around me a lot. And she still go out. She claims she wear her mask. But I don't know. Out of sight, out of mind. I just don't know. You know what I'm saying? You say one thing, you do another. But uh, her and her husband, they like to go out from time to time. And they participate and hang out with their friends. And they ain't going to tell me no lie. Because I know I was out there. And I was doing things. Hell, I didn't tell my mama them. But, you know, I'm pretty sure they were around some folks. And then, you know, they had a very big outbreak at their job. And, you know, you're working around people and stuff. So, you, we could have contracted it that way. But everybody's doing well now. Everybody's doing uh, back to work. We're doing what we got to do. And, and that's, you know, part of the story. Uh, I know I got off on a tangent here and there, but you know, if you've been rocking with me from day one, you know I go off in a spill. Okay, this is how we get down, and that's how I do it over at the house. Okay, so mind your business. Okay, mind your business. I'm getting to the point. I'm eventually getting to my point. But I'm just saying, uh, you, if y'all go over there to uh, uh, um, her Instagram account, if you par- you know you want to or whatnot, you'll see what I'm talking about. I, I don't know what... Um, uh, Shamir was doing. She was playing like she had a guitar in her hand. I'm like, where's her husband? Where is her husband? Where's Mr. Morton? Because evidently she don't had two men to drink. <laughs> she has wasted herself. And then Portia sitting up there. Portia, she don't look bad, dude. She wearing that leather like it ain't nobody business. So I, you know, Portia somewhere got some fashion sense. I ain't gonna say she like Cynthia Bailey or anything like that. But she was rocking that one outfit that she got on. And I was like, go ahead, girl. Show your body. Yeah, it's kind of covered up. It's kind of decent. So, I'm going to give her that. She ain't looking like a hoe or anything like that. Um, but uh, she's doing some whole acting um, acting out with her and Shamil up there. Because one time she picked the child up. I'm like, where you going with the child? Like, she want to lift her up and, I don't know, do some strange things for some change. I don't know. I'm like, damn, we both of y'all have. Well, we know for all the time <laughs> could not keep up with uh, Portia. Uh, we've seen that many, many times, okay, when they were in the club and all this, and third, and he looked like he was just psycho sick and, and fucked up, you know what I'm saying, he pretty much was like, if, if anybody had a bed out there, he would lay right on it, and, and he, he wouldn't want nobody to touch him, okay, because he was like down for the count, he can't, he can't last that long, he can't, two beers probably put all the time out, but he like that hard brown liquor, could be Hennessy, or... I, I don't know, it could be scotch, okay? Something to take your, your hair off your chest. You know what I'm saying? I had scotch one time earlier on in my earlier days. and about burnt. Ooh, Lord, like I was on fire. <laughs> and ended up throwing the shit up. So I just pretty much kept to wine. Just wine uh, flavors and stuff. Oh, but, uh, yeah. Portia got back to Atlanta, hooked up with Shamir. Shamir must have had some free concert tickets or whatnot. And she had... Just, you know, been over there partying. Portia done came back to Atlanta and then got in them, them streets. I'm like, what, what's, okay, where is Father Time? Did he come back with you, girl, or what? Because I want to know how you got all this energy running from different continents, different cultures. Ain't even checked in to play with baby girl or talk to your mama or get with your sister, Lauren, and just catch up. You know what I'm saying? It's like you just have to be out there in the spotlight. You have to put everything on social media. And you know, hey, it's good content for me. You know, I'll keep talking about you. I'll favor you one day and I'll throw you under the bus the next day. It just depends on how you're acting out there, Portia. Okay, and again, like I said, you're sitting up there just spending money, spending money, spending money. I ain't got no jobs, but I guess you work, uh, you, you know, you working on his money or you living off your interest. I don't know, per se, okay, because we ain't saw anybody trying to pick you up. I've been telling you to start a YouTube channel, go on over there to the Zeus Network. They are hiring because it seems like Jocelyn Hernandez and her cabaret may be soon coming to an end because they got to fight over there. Okay, yeah, they got to fight. If y'all missed it, go check out social media. Google um, Jocelyn Cabaret and fight. Okay, had her uh, boyfriend, husband, fiance, I don't know who he is, ballistic up there fighting women. I'm like, nah, somebody need to just peck him on his head. 
handcuff him and take him on to prison, okay? You do not put your hands on no ladies. I don't care if they're acting like a hoe or they're a prostitute or whatever. You don't touch a woman, okay? You got too much force behind you and you can really damage her. Okay, but I went off on a tangent again as you definitely see that I do from time to time. Okay, but yeah. Um, and they were accompanied by three more women, but I'm going to bring that video or th that little uh, clip of the other three women that was there because it just wasn't her and Shamia. Maybe it's her, uh, Shamia picked her up because, you know, with Portia coming off a flight, uh, 10 or 12 hour flight from um, Lagos, Africa. Uh, that that could be tedious on the body. So I'm pretty sure Shamil just rolled over there, told her girl, "Come on, we got these free tickets." So I cop these tickets, and you gonna come on with me, okay? We're gonna just go have a party, party, party. I'm like, do a uh, Porsche. You're gonna be looking old for uh before your time come, okay? You're gonna be granny time. You're gonna be looking at granny time over there, okay? Cause you ain't sitting your ass down somewhere, okay? You're 40 years old. I know you died, girl, but then again, you drank your brown liquor, get you started, and you go on out there. Okay, like you ain't got nothing to lose or no brand to rebrand for us to look at you a totally different way. But you a party girl. I don't know when you're going to let that party girl get out of you, okay? You can become a party girl once you done raised your kids. They out on their own. They having their own kids. And you just want to live the single life or the married life but the carefree life. Then I can understand that. That's what we wait for when we 60, 62. You know, and we want to say, you know, work on regular jobs and we have to, you know, wait till that time to retire. Then we just kick back and we travel. Okay? That's what I plan on doing when I hit 62. And that's, you know, let me see. That's about eight more years. I'm going to be sitting down somewhere. And I'm just going to be going to the states that I didn't get to visit. I'm going to try to participate and find all of them and, you know, do what I need to make it do. Okay? Before I leave this world, uh, God willing. Okay? But. Portia got some energy. She's an energizer bunny, y'all. She's an energizer bunny. Cause I, I just don't see how somebody can come off a 10 or 12 hour flight. I'm guessing she came in maybe Friday or Saturday. And then her friends swooped her up and they went to a concert. <laughs> And you see, she hollering. She hollering, and her girlfriend, Shamil, playing an invisible guitar. I guess it's electric guitar, but like I said, go over there and check out the uh, video. And it didn't have no sound to it. That's what tripped me out. Like, what the hell going on? Did she forget to push the auto button or something? I, I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. She's wearing that black leather suit, I'm telling you. She, she, she's a sharp dresser at, at times, okay? Uh, but I, I don't know what the hell she's hollering about. And then you got the white people in the back. We don't really know what they hollering about. But they throwing up their little alcohol or whatnot. And ain't not nail mask running around there. Can you stand it, y'all? Can you stand it? I'm like, I'm good and I'm cool for everybody wanting to go have a good time. I'm talking about you trying to pick Shamir up. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know what she was finna throw or what she was trying to look on. I don't know. I don't know what kind of party they were at or concert. That they were favoring loving on themselves at the time. Because like I said, they, they look, Shamia look wasted. She really do look like she wasted. I had too much to drink. And hopefully she'll sober herself up before she go home to her family, her loved ones. Okay? And I'm hoping one of them or one of the ladies that went didn't drink too much with their cool culture. And they won't be out there drinking and driving. You hear what I'm saying? Because then you're infringing on somebody else's life when you're impaired. So maybe they caught an Uber. I'm really not sure how it went down. But as you can see at that last photo, it's like Shamir wanted to throw up. But it just is what it is. <laughs> I'm like these young or middle age uh, individuals that call themselves moms. They trying to reach back for their 20s or teenage years. I have no idea. But to me... It's kind of inappropriate, you know what I'm saying, for you to be your age. Like, and, and really, Portia is kind of acting decent this time. It's Shamil that's cutting the food. Usually, it'd be Portia cutting the food. But for some reason, uh, Shamil's out there, and she's been hanging out in them streets uh, a good bit, too. So, I'm wondering about her marriage, how we are faring over there. You know what I'm saying? Because Shamil used to be kind of quiet. Always in the background. Looking presentable, looking motherly, but now it's just like she don't got this wild side on her. I'm like, okay, what's what's going on with you now? Okay, have Portia and her ways done rubbed off on you? I don't know. It seems like Portia want her life and Shamia want Portia life. Maybe not with all the time, but I'm just saying. Maybe she's feel like she's closed in or something. Y'all, y'all tell me what y'all think.
All right, because I'm pretty much finna get out this story and I'm going to move on to something else. Hopefully, I have it loaded up and ready to go for y'all by 12 midnight. But if if not, you know, there was time. But if I got it and I'm on deck, y'all will have it. Okay? So, y'all go and partake of this video. Get down there. Uh, comment. And I will see y'all next time. Okay? All right. Bye-bye.